Hi there! My name is RustyBot. This lesson is an introduction to Protoflux, Resonite's node-based programming language. If you're already a programmer, this is going to be super familiar. If not, I promise it's surprisingly intuitive. In your inventory, navigate to Resonite Essentials, which is a public folder that every account starts with, go to Tools, and double-click the second option here. Laser-click that and hit Equip. Now you have the Protoflux tool. In my context menu, I'm going to go to Browse Nodes, make mine a little bigger for the camera here. Then we're going to go to Operators, Equals, Value Equals, and get the float version. So double click that. You'll notice it comes out on this label here so you know you have it selected. Double click in the air to spawn out the node. I'm going to go back, back, back to the main page, go to Flow, go to If, double click that again to get it selected, and then double click in the air to spawn it out. These are nodes. It's got a name, it's got a category, and a set of inputs and outputs. If I use my tool and hold primary on one of these inputs or outputs, I get this wire connected. If I press secondary while holding that, then I get this display. I can do that for any of these, and it works the same for inputs. You'll notice that depending on the color and shape of the input and output, you'll get a different type of display or a different type of input. Important to distinguish are solid colors and these ones with arrows on them. So the solid colors are flow, data flow. These two numbers are being pumped into this node, evaluated, and output. If I change this bottom one to a 4, 0 does not equal 4, so it outputs false. If I change the top one to match, 4 equals 4, so it outputs true. With the if, we have these arrow event ones. These represent a chain of actions. So if I hit call, it outputs on this pulse display. It gives you when it pulsed and sort of shows you how frequent they are based on the visual. We can combine these ideas by connecting the equals to the if. And now what's going to happen is the Boolean input here is dependent on this previous node, which is now dependent on these two numbers. So when I press call, it comes out the top. Since the equals is true, and the if is detecting whether or not a Boolean input is true or false, it redirects the event based on the equality of these two numbers. Now, if I want to disconnect a wire, say I want to put this back here, what I can do is either just reconnect it, and that'll change how it's set up, or I can hold primary in the air to get this red line, and drag that through a wire to just chop it. I'm going to connect this back together, and if I want to now get rid of this because I'm done with it, I can grab it and just hit destroy in my context menu, like any other object. And that's pretty much it for foundational knowledge. Next time we'll actually use this to affect an object in the world. Later.